Hey guys, it's me, Udoka. Um, driving just to pick up something and I had a moment of clarity just now that I wanted to capture on film in case maybe there's somebody out there that can help me. So for the past year, I've been posting uh, almost monthly updates of what I've been doing to take care of my mental health. Um, things change all the time. Um, something works great at first and then it doesn't work anymore and yada yada yada. If you um, have issues with mental health, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's this one issue that I can't seem to solve. This issue of a part of me not seeking to change or to get out of a rut. I'll use today as an example. Today, woke up, I woke up at a decent hour, but like a part of me just refused to be productive. Gave myself some grace. I said, okay, sure. Let me be gentle with myself. Um, but it took so long for me to just feel ready to get out of bed and then it took so long for me to just eat and and then I had to really talk myself into taking my Adderall and man now hours later more than 12 hours later my mind is now feeling sharp ready to go I have my pearls on when I have my pearls on you know I mean business when I have my watch and pearls on earrings you know I mean business makeup done hair done And I just feel like, man, the way I feel right now where I don't feel confused, right? If I could feel like this every day from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, my life would be completely different. Why can't I get this way? The, the way that my mind feels most of the time is it feels like I am just floating in air that, that's what it feels like if my mind was to be physically represented and how it feels it feels like it's on a string if my if my body if my brain if if my head is a string if yeah if my head is like a little kid holding a balloon and there's a string with my attached to my brain and my brain's just floating somewhere in the atmosphere that's what i feel like all the time so something that should be a quick decision you know what should i do how how should i prioritize my hour right now should i make phone calls should i clean a little bit something that should be a quick decision takes me literally 20 minutes to decide what action to actually do and then once let's say i decide to cl clean a little bit I'll then completely forget that I was supposed to do business earlier and I'll clean up a little bit, feel satisfied and then complete and then wander off again. Or let's say I I tell myself this is what happens most of the time. I tell myself, "No, if I start cleaning right now, I'm going to completely forget that I needed to run quotes for a client. So let me focus on my client stuff. And I'll do that client stuff for two hours and completely forget I was supposed to clean. Wake up the next day, feel so disgusted that, oh, my room is a mess. I completely forgot. And the small moments where things just make sense. Oh, it'll take three minutes to clean up this mess. Let me clean it up right now and then I can make some phone calls and I take three minutes to clean up the mess and the mess before I had the moment of clarity, the mess felt like it would take an hour. When I have my moment of clarity, the mess feels like it'll take three minutes and it does and it actually takes a uh, one and a half minutes. And then I remember to make my calls and I sit up my desk and I start being productive. And I feel like a normal person. And here's the thing. 
I've been saying that I take, you know, I've been filling you guys in on the medication that I take. The issue is that there's nothing I can do that reliably gets me going. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing I can do. to re The state of clarity that I'm in right now, I don't know a way to reliably get to the state in a reliable manner. It is very freaking frustrating. It is so freaking frustrating. Because I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of heart. I have a lot of passion. I'm smart. I'm... I'm reasonable. I am... I'm unreasonable. I'm reasonable when I need to be reasonable. I'm unreasonable when it's good to be unreasonable. I'm a dreamer. I'm a doer. I'm an action taker. I'm a thinker. I'm all the things. All the ingredients that you need to achieve your dreams and I'm not saying that I'm not achieving my dreams it's just that wouldn't it save me so much more time and money and heartache if I could get this mindset shift down it would save a heck of a lot of time and money and heart heartache because we never know when we're going to leave this earth okay so you could say you're young, you have time, but you don't know that. You don't know how much time you have. And if the only thing that's keeping me from my dreams and my goals and where I am now is my inability to control this, well, that makes me mad. And I don't know what to do about it, honestly. I don't know what to do. So I just wanted to share that. I that's how I feel right now. I do, that's how I feel. It's irritating. I've never been able to voice it in this way before. I don't know if there's people out there who feel the way I do. Am I just crazy anomaly? Some people would say so. But there's so much I want to do. By the way, shout out to hashtag Hammy Film. I watched Alexander Hamilton for the first time ever uh, this past weekend. That musical, it is inspiring. It is fun. It's an awesome musical. Um, I can see how Lynn Manuela Miranda, whatever that guy's name is, who wrote the film, who wrote the musical, I can see how he relates to Alexander Hamilton. And since then, I've been listening to a lot of, you know, History Channel stuff about our founding fathers and just connecting with them. And where our founding fathers were at, like, you know, having to, like, fight for your cause and, and knowing that what you do today will affect a whole freaking continent, it will affect the world. You know, and trying to compromise and all those things I'm going through in a smaller scale um, and what I do for work and what I do for business and what I do for trying to achieve my dreams. I'm just frustrated. I'm just frustrated that I can't make my mind work the way I want it to all the time. It's more than just, I used to think I gave into my emotions too much and that was a character flaw. Oh, I don't feel like working, so I don't work. That's bad, I'm lazy, but that's not what it is. The problem isn't my emotion. The problem is that I mentally feel unable to prioritize what I do and when I do it. Like the, the ability is not always there. It, I, I'd have to be helping somebody else or in the heat of a moment of leadership 
for it to come on command. But when I'm by myself, I can't bring it on on command unless I procrastinate it and my homework is due in 10 minutes. <laughs> that is what's frustrating me. That is the issue. A lot of my idle tree, is that the right word? A lot of my state of being idle, which I don't think you call that idle tree. That's, that's something completely different. But a lot of what I do and what might be perceived as being lazy or being depressed or being unproductive is as simple as I just don't know what to do right now. I don't know what I should do. And no matter what I choose to focus on, I will feel, I, I know I will feel guilt. It's like I've trained myself to not make productive decisions when I'm alone. It's frustrating, guys. I just had to share that. I don't know if anybody can relate. And I don't know if anybody has found a reliable solution. Right now, my only solution is setting an alarm clock at 10.30 p.m. every night to force me to take my melatonin lotion. Yes, I have lotion that has melatonin in it, and it works. It makes me go to sleep. So alarm to make me go to sleep and now what I'm gonna do I've been trying to avoid this but can't be helped I'm setting an alarm to where when I hear that alarm even if I just want to go back to sleep I just take my Adderall or Modafinil whatever and it's right next to my bed so there's no excuses when I hear that alarm I wake up I take the medicine if I want to go back to sleep fine but Right now, the, the, that's the only thing that I can do reliably that has at least made it possible for me to be in this state, not on a reliable basis, but at least sometimes. Like, at least I sometimes am in this state rather than never being in this state. Oh, also, when I take my melatonin lotion, I take my Zoloft. That's the only thing I can do reliably. I know exercise will help. I, I'm in the process of moving, so I haven't been exercising. Exercising helps. Diet helps. Meditating helps. In fact, I'm going to meditate after this video. But I just need something that will reliably ground me. That's all I want. Well, thanks for listening to my rant. Bye.